So for this Manny, we are doing what I would describe as an old time freak show tattoo. I just started with a simple base of a nude color. You can really choose any color you want, but I chose something that would, you know, look like skin. And using a nail art pen. Now when you use nail art pens, you have to be careful. The base coat has to be completely dry, completely dry. These pens sometimes don't glide very well, so the drier the nail polish, the better it'll glide over your nail. Um, nail art pens are really big this year. It's a great way to get a very intricate, tiny design on your nails. Beware, never shake your nail art pen without the cap on unless you really love having paint all over your shirt. I learned the hard way, so I shall pass that on to you. Now for these nails, uh, it's a lot of triangles and dots and lines, so pretty simple things, and you can just get creative. There's no real rule for doing this, but I'm going to do, I really like the triangles and the dots, so I'm going to start with, let's see, we'll do some small triangles along the side here, and just color them in. And then as I go down the nail, I'm gonna make them bigger and we're gonna curve around. Don't worry about getting it on your skin. You can just take that off later with an orange stick and some polish remover. It's really just like coloring with a marker, which is fun. And as you kind of come around this corner, you're going to want to make your triangles a little bit wider because that'll help even them out as you work around. And then in between each of these, I'm going to put a dot. And then maybe on this side, I'm gonna do a couple more. All right, and then you can just, I mean, place dots wherever you feel like it really. Fill in some of that negative space. And moving on to the nails, each nail should be different. I mean, you can do the same design on each nail if you want, but. Um, I like to mix it up a bit, so we're going to do a sort of wave on this nail. And you know, if it helps, look up something on the internet and uh, get some ideas. I do that all the time. If you ever feel like your pen isn't getting enough ink, you can always dab it down on a piece of paper and push that ink out a little bit. And always make sure that it's not building up too much at the tip because if it does, you go to put it on your nail, you're just gonna have a whole glob on your nail and that's annoying. Let's start from the beginning. If you really want a thin line, I mean, these pens will just automatically give that to you. So the sometimes the difficult thing is if you want to make a thicker line, because I've noticed that when you're using these nail art pens, when you draw a line or anything and you color it in and say you want to make it darker or put some more or fix it or make it wider, sometimes when you color over it, it'll take that first coat of paint off, which can make it a little annoying. But, you know, just take your time and, you know, maybe dab if you want to color in something or instead of just like scribbling like a pen. Um, you have to have a bit of a lighter touch with these in general. So here we're going to do a sort of swirl and then we're going to make it a little bit thicker on the end. See how I'm kind of just doing one stroke at a time in the same direction instead of just going back and forth as if you were coloring. 
you don't really want to do that. It doesn't work as well. When using these pens, it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to be a good artist, but I mean, it helps to have some sort of drawing skill. It's just like drawing anything. I mean, it's just a, you know, a pen. If you want to draw some stick figures on your nails and that's all you're good at, then the pen will still work for you. It all depends. So then you have some classic, classic tattoo nail art here for you.